Yo guys, what's rocking? This is BTB here and today I'm back with another live narration and today we have uh, a semi-finals game and uh, this is between US Northeast and Italy I guess but uh, the series is already over by this point and US East has already won so this is more of a fun game so yeah since Dr. Bitch is lazy to upload on his own I'll, ha I'll have to record for his ass so yeah let's just get straight into the fucking game okay so we have uh, Sabella using some really really cool team with Mega B. I think this is kind. This is a kind of fun team which you would like use after um, you have already clutched the series and stuff. And Gaius Empo is using fucking screens. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Empo is a really good friend of mine uh, and a very sol solid player. So yeah. Okay, so uh, Empo leads off with uh, Megarna and Sabella leads off with B. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call the Megarna as Megarna because Megarna is cuter than Megarna, so fuck off. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, Sevilla hits Megarna with the fucking drill run, and that does uh, negligible damage. Is that like fist death Megarna or what? Uh, I really don't know. Mega B is probably just fucking ass, but it at least has a good ability, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's Assault West Magnuson. Uh -huh. And yeah, that does like a bit of chip. Um, Guard Majorana is actually so fucking bulky, dude. Uh, yeah, Emperor just clicks uh, Focus Blast again, I guess. And yeah, he, he gets a kill. So Magnuson is out of the way. Uh, Magnuson pretty much did nothing because it was AV and I don't think it actually did anything in that game, so Sebella made the right play of just uh, weakening the Majorna with the fucking Magnezone and getting the chip off, the chip he needed to like uh, weaken the Majorna. So yeah, Sebella makes fine plays. Uh, now he goes into the Kartana, so Kartana gets a attack raise here with Leaf Blade. But oh my god, Kartana actually just fucking destroys Empo, I just realized it. Like, <laughs> like look at, if this is like Scarf Kartana, it's GG to Empo. Like his switch in is X, like literally X. So now uh, Empo's play is probably to like hard Lando, or or just sack it, just sack the Majorna. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I think that's the right play. Mm. Because Navi gets like, nah, nah. I, I don't think that was the right play. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know the calcs, but they played really fast. Nobody calcing anything here. They're just clicking buttons. So yeah. Uh, but I think if Orlando took two hits with a drop, I think then he had to like hard Lando get off the EQ damage. Uh, I yeah, in the long run, it, I, yeah, it, okay, there was no way to tank two, so yeah, Emperor made the right play there, and yeah, the Leaf player does a fuck ton. Oh, it does 75, and uh, this Kartana gets another kill for sure. Yeah, it gets one kill there. Now I think he goes on to Zygarde because Zygarde probably tanks one, and he just uh. Tries to kill the Kartana with the uh, Leaf Blade. I think Sebella should save the Kartana because the Kartana just wins and uh, that's his Manaphy answer as well. Yeah, that's his Manaphy answer if it's like uh, Z Tail Glow. So uh, Sebella should clear. Uh, no, I mean Z Rain Dance. Yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, Z Rain Dance. So yeah, I think uh, Sebella should judge, should like keep the Kartana here and then uh, like just go out and hard Lando, get up rocks and like start doing shit from there. I think Empo should double to Coco here, but there's no way he's gonna risk that. Like, there's no way he risks that. If he does, then yeah, you're the goat. Um, hmm. Yeah, Sabella thinking hard about this turn. He just, he just has to click Lando here, I think. If Lando is the rock setter, or if he wants to cover the Coco, he can like I don't know, maybe go B, but yeah, Lando is fine play. What does Empo do here? Empo just one case, playing it safe. Uh, it really doesn't matter though, but yeah. Uh, I think this uh, this Landris is probably Z, bulky Z fly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It could also be Z, um, Munium Z, probably. The, on a fun team, it's probably Munium Z, but it could also be Z fly Lando. So yeah, Sevilla just gets up rocks here. And um, and Empo goes on to Gyarados here, I guess. Yeah. 
doesn't really matter. I think Sabella has this game in the bag. Screens is just so fucking weak to Kartana if you don't get out the reflect and stuff. Oh, Impa just goes for the hard DD. That's that's fine. And Sabella doesn't get up rocks. He instead decides to go for the U-turn, uh, which is fine, I guess. Now he goes on a Mew. And uh, if it's like defensive Mew, he just clicks Ice Beam here. Or uh, No, he shouldn't Wisp here because of a possible substitute. So, yeah. You just click... Uh, Fucking um, ice beam here as yeah as um, yeah both players are thinking now and uh, sorry I cut out there for a bit because of India's trash net so whatever cool so both players are thinking about this turn um, Empo switches out in a mana fee on the rock polish. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, he just gets up a fucking uh, nasty plot now, and I think 6 0 is Empo. Uh, if he's Auro Sphere, or like. Uh, yeah, if he's Auro Sphere, because I'm pretty sure that's a fucking Mega Gyarados. There's no way he's not Mega Gyarados on this team. Uh, especially with the Z Mover uh, being mana fee, most likely. So, yeah. Okay, so nasty plot here and then Z up. Boom. Empo is in a pretty fucked up spot here. Yeah, okay, he blows up his own Z. And that does like absolute jack shit. Because 100 base, 100 base HP and 100 base defenses are like pretty fucking good even with like no investment. Like, they're not good on the attacking side, but on the defensive side, if you have like 100, 100, 100. That's like pretty fucking good, dude. But like you, you know, like hundred attack or hundred special attack is not that great, if, or even hundred speed for that matter is like not that great. But if you have like hundred HP, hundred in defenses, that's like very fucking good. That makes a man like extremely fucking bulky. Okay, okay. I'm both thinking about this turn now. Um, I don't think he really has any good play to make. To be honest, I, I I would just sack the Coco here, I guess, but I I don't think there's a way for Empo to win. Mew plus uh, Kartana just destroys him. That, that's like way too much for him. I think he should have actually just gotten up the screens as soon as possible and like just played it like a normal screens offense, and then he probably would have had a shot. Like I don't fucking know, dude. He could have like led Lando on the Mega B or something. No, <sighs> Empo played fine, but his matchup was just unwinnable, I guess. Um, yeah, my man Empo thinking over this turn really fucking hard. He's probably calculating some shit on like which one to sack and stuff. Uh, and Sabella has no clicked because Sabella has just an easy way to win from here. Just Z, right? Yeah. Come on, Z, Z, Z. Click it. Click a move, Empo. Come on, come on. Hurry up. I think in this series, um, Northeast like smashed Itali 6 1 or something at this point. And yeah. I heard that uh, Northeast got lucky too, but I, I, I really didn't see the game. Oh my god. <laughs> Sebella's focus blast on a re on Empo's regular farm. If if Empo yeah that and the fucking Gyarados reveals crunch, so that was definitely fucking uh, Mega Gyarados too. So that was a fire play by Empo, like absolutely fire play by Empo. But <laughs> it's game over now because the Kartana just comes out, it shakes his ass and clicks Leaf Blade three times and the game is over. Boom. Yeah. Kartana with its fucking paper ass. It's gonna click Leaf Blade thrice and GG. I think oh, that play by Empo was so fired though. Like, he's staying in regular was like pretty fire. Hmm. Yeah. Gyarados dies, right? Gyar I'm pretty sure Gyarados just dies from fucking Leaf Blade. 
at this range. He can't Mega Evolve too because that, then the Leaf Blade would be super effective. So if this is a roll, he just has to go for the roll. But if this was a roll, then Sebela would have never gone out into Kartana. He could have just gone out into fucking Mega B and just clicked Poison Jab or some shit like that. And like, yeah. He would have had a free... Sebela has a, had a, Sebela has a fucking free win in this game. So it's fine, yeah. The Gyarados drops and this game should be over. Bop. I, I think if he goes on to the Zygarde, he just uh, Leaf Blades again. Because Lando can take it on, one on one. So, yeah. Sebela is so confident about his victory that he's talking in the Smog Tours chat. So, that's, uh, that's cool. That's something I would do as well. <sighs> Empo still thinking about this turn. But Empo can't win. Uh, he actually played pretty fire given the matchup. But yeah. Sebela's team was just way cooler. So just use cool teams if you guys want to win. Yeah, Bob gone. Oh my god, that actually lived? Okay. Kogo is actually trash on the defensive side. But yeah. The live is like kind of nice for him because he gets a reflect up, but I think it's still over. Because uh, Sebella just clicks Leaf Blade twice. Uh, no, he he click like he clicks like Leaf Blade, Leaf Blade like thrice, I think. No. Okay, so he, he Empo is gonna sack the Coco to the Kartana, then click 1,000 arrows with the Zygarde, and yeah, Sebella goes out into L. Feeny inflicts Moonblast and wins the game. So yeah. GG. Yeah, this was actually a pretty fun game for a game that didn't actually matter because both players actually tried to win. So it's always fun when both players actually try to win the game. So yeah. Okay, boom goes the Kartana. Now the Feeny comes out and clicks Moonblast. So, um, unless I'm missing something and like he doesn't have, okay, does Feeny not have Moonblast or like what? Uh, reveals it, goes for HP Ice, okay. He finishes it off, he finishes it off with the HP Ice, I guess that's called finishing in style or something. <laughs> Even though I feel like Feeny's Moonblast would have been a stylish way to finish it, but to each their own. So it was fun guys, I'll see you again in the next narration, peace out.